All right, welcome back to the studio. In this video, we're talking about who's using all of these PTZ cameras. And as you know, uh, I work with a lot of people who use PTZ cameras. And I want to go over some of the main use cases to help us frame our mindset around what these can do for various organizations that you may work with. So we've already covered the state of the industry and what a PTZ camera is and the specific parts of a PTZ camera. Um, but who actually uses these cameras? And one of the first places that adopted PTZ cameras is broadcast and streaming areas. Now, we're not going to cover in this course security cameras. Of course, there's a lot of PTZ cameras used for security purposes. But in broadcast and streaming, this picture in particular is showing a PTZ camera inside of a teleprompter. And this teleprompter is in Broadcast Beat Studios outside of Miami, Florida. And it shows a really big innovation in broadcast television. This is showing how a single person in the studio can put on a live show. They're using a new tech TriCaster, which is a pretty advanced video production system, but they don't have any camera operators in the studio. It's all produced remotely inside of this studio here. So cameras in the broadcast area and producer in a completely separate room. And it really makes the production more valuable. Houses of worship use PTZ cameras a lot for a couple different reasons. One is houses of worship like to live stream their services so they can connect with their local and regional international viewers and contributors to their organization. But it's also important to note that these cameras are small and discreet and out of the way. And that makes it really ideal for houses of worship to use PTZ cameras. Another reason why houses of worship like PTZ cameras is because they can be operated remotely. Um, so you can have a volunteer, you can have a media director sitting in the back of the church, out of the way, setting everything up and making it all work. Now, a really cool use case, and this is one of my favorites, I got a chance to be part of this, is that DJ Dead Mouse 5, right? DJ Dead Mouse. Um, he is an internationally known top DJ who goes on tour. And he built an onstage LED cube that rotates and shows his video on the front of the cube. So it makes you feel like you're in the cube when you're viewing it. And he's got four PTZ cameras that actually rotate as the cube rotates on stage. Just, just really, really cool stuff. But again, musicians, artists, anyone who's doing a production on stage, uh, could be lots of different on stage type of things, uh, use PTZ cameras to, whether it's literally being live streamed and recorded, or it may be just displayed live um, for an audience. Now in education, there's a lot of different uses for PTZ cameras, but one of my favorites, this is a, a story that I went to cover myself in the Bronx of New York City. And the SAR school there, uh, has a broadcast club. There's lots of broadcast clubs all around the world where students get to learn about broadcast technology. And this broadcast club and many across the nation and the world have learned that the broadcast clubs can actually help the school's sports teams live stream their events. And it's kind of like a two birds with one stone style of approach to live streaming school events. In fact, it's, it was just such a powerful case study. The students get real-world camera operation and video production experience. The sports teams allow the parents who can't make it to every game to watch remotely and watch the recordings. And then the coach of the students gets to review the video and watch it with the players to help explain to them how they can improve their game. In fact, I met with the athletic director at the SAR school and they explained to me how they actually look back at past video recordings and they will actually, when they're playing a specific team, look back and see who are the players that they should look out for. 
Now, radio is a big one, and this does, you know, radio and television are, you know, in the sa same boat in the sense that they're transitioning to a new modern era of video communication and social media communications. Mix 94.1 has Sean Tempesta as the host. I actually got a chance to meet with him as well. He's in Las Vegas, Nevada, and they've been live streaming their music show, uh, their radio show to online audiences on Facebook, on YouTube, to great success. While their main audience is listening in the car, listening on their radios, on the way to work, they pick up a lot of dedicated fans who like to see the video, who like to see, for example, a lot of radio hosts will comment and do commentary over top of maybe a viral video. And they're able to incorporate that into their live streams. And it's been a huge growth uh, space for them. Now, in the government and nonprofit sector, PTZ cameras are used in a variety of areas. This is a courtroom in the city of Whitefish, Montana, where they are able to record the court sessions for posterity, for their archives, but also in many public settings, whether there's town hall meetings and public meetings, they can increase their accessibility of their meetings by recording and live streaming them so that everyone can be in attendance even if without having to go there. Now, another popular use case is television. And this is actually a BBC dating show. So BBC is the television network and the dating show uh, was basically a reality show. And they let us use these pictures here. They were using multiple PTZ Optics cameras with a joystick and the ability to remotely operate these and their fact that they're so discreet allowed them to create an entire restaurant dating environment where they could capture all kinds of angles to capture those reactions that make up the video. And it was just a great opportunity, a great example for PTZ cameras in the television space. You can see they're installing and outfitting an entire restaurant with these cameras and it, it really made for an awesome dating show. Uh, and you can see what they were doing here. Another big one is just event venues. And there's so many venues for music, for theater, for the arts that are having to not only live stream, but record their sessions, whether it is for selling virtual tickets. A lot of people are selling tickets to sold out shows virtually or to simply use the video to show uh, image magnification on projectors and screens. Small businesses are also starting to use PTZ cameras and sometimes they work with on other small businesses like video production companies so that they can live stream on Facebook, so they can live stream on Amazon. If you were doing e-commerce, a lot of small businesses are moving from brick and mortar to e-commerce and live streaming is helping them connect with their audiences. It's a really big, fast growing market. Um, the Stream Geeks have a ton of tech setup videos about small businesses, We're really passionate about small businesses, and we've helped a lot and really outlined exactly how we've, we've done a lot of this work. So the key takeaways are that PTZ cameras are used for so many different applications because they're easy to set up. And they can go in these places where, you know, regular cameras don't have, can't necessarily go. And they're crucial for many broadcasting and streaming applications.